Hey, I'm currently on a 100 mile hike on a wilderness area in Wyoming, and I wanted to stop and show you exactly what I choose to bring when I'm doing a 100 mile solo hike. And hopefully this provides some value for you guys as you look to do some bigger efforts out there on the trail or maybe ways that you can streamline your system a little bit. For starters, I am using the CS40 backpack and I do wanna highlight one thing really quick here. This backpack has about 50 plus liters of volume, including you know this outside stuff sack and um, bag or pocket, I guess you could say, and the hip belt pocket. So it's not quite just a, a 40 liter pack, but I am trying to get my pack as streamlined as I possibly can. Right on top here, I've got my, this is a 40 inch, eighth inch foam pad that we sell. I'm gonna take that off so I can kneel on it as I go through this video. So let's go ahead and start on the outside of the bag because this is the stuff that I want access to during the day. So I'm gonna put food items that I'm gonna want access to right on the outside of the pack. And there's more food obviously in the pack, but that's the stuff I want accessible. I want my water filter. This is a platypus uh, quick draw. This has been my favorite filter ever. Uh, I really, really have liked that filter. I've got my rain jacket on the outside of the pack. This is a prototype tusher. Um, and then additionally, I've got some, well, I've got a lot, it seems like for this trip, toilet paper and wet wipes. I've got a pair of headphones that I have not used at all and I kind of regret bringing. I've got a Swedish cloth to wipe the inside of my tent throughout the, or when I get up in the morning, because it's very, very damp here. Um, and these things are amazing. This thing is just so stinking light, absorbs really quick and then you just wring it out. So I've been super thrilled with that. I've also got a Nightcore, I think it's an NU25 headlamp, my OV titanium spoon, and a Garmin InReach Mini 2. That's everything on the outside. In this pocket right here, I'm not gonna unload everything because there's just kind of trash. I have electrolytes. These are salt tabs from um, Relight, which I've been really liking. I've, I've got some different drink mixes in here. And then I've also got a chapstick and a Joshua Tree sun stick. Um, so my, my uh, sunscreen there. Two smart water bottles. And then I think we're ready to go inside the pack. Now I am carrying on the front of this, I do have my cell phone right here. Um, and I am rocking two of our um, <laughs> shoulder pockets here. You can, you can see I've definitely been hiking a lot today. So right on top here, I have my first aid kit. This is not just my first aid kit. I do have some electronics in here as well. Um, an, NU, an NB 10,000, I wanna say. I'm gonna sit down here. An NB 10,000 battery bank, the carbon one. Um, and then some, some cell phone batteries. I've also got rain pants, prototype rain pants. And I've got some Dyneema rain mitts from Hytel Designs. I traded these guys at PCT Trail Days to, to give those a shot um, to just keep wind. And if it is raining, rain off of me. Um, obviously not gonna be very breathable, but so far I found a use for them. This right here is my food bag. I've just got everything in there. Um, this is just a Outdoor Vitals. It's actually a top quilt dry bag. Um, but then I've got a clip here, which is what I'm um, doing my bear hang kit with. This right here is all of my clothing. So I'll quickly pull out my additional clothing. Obviously I got the rain gear, the rain mitts. Um, I've got, I believe these are called Black Diamond Stance gloves. These are an insulated glove. I've just really liked them. They're crazy light, they're really packable. And even though they're probably overkill for a lot of situations, um, I've just found them getting in my pack a lot because they are barely heavier than say a fleece glove. Um, this is a prototype fleece piece from Outdoor Vitals. You probably see some clips of this. Um, but this, this piece has been really, really awesome. I've been sleeping in that and sometimes hiking in the mornings for just a little bit. I've got a Nova UL. So this is my, my puffy jacket, my camp jacket, essentially, if I'm stopping. Um, so that's been solid. Actually haven't used it as much as I thought I would just because it's been warm enough in this other piece. And the last things I have in here is a pair of darn tough socks that I am hiking, or excuse me, sleeping in. And then I've got our Highline fleece leggings. 
These are also what I'm sleeping in. Um, just additional clothing items really quick on my body. I've got an altitude, one of the newer altitudes with the silver treatment. I've got joggers, which are medium instead of medium tall. I don't know how I pulled that off, so you may see a lot of my ankles throughout this trip. Um, I use a compression uh, pair of underwear, just to really keep me from chafing. And then I've also got Hoka Speed Goat 5s with Injinji toe socks and an Ultra Vitals hat. These right here are Redfin um, sunglasses. I have now had these for at least four years and they have been absolutely phenomenal. Polarized, really lightweight, um, and really, really high-end lenses in them. So I've, I've been really pleased with that. This is a bear hang kit that someone on our team made for me. Just has some easy pull line in it and is a steak bag actually. I am running an alcohol stove, a Tokes siphon uh, stove and stand and a 550 milliliter pot. I've got a backup water bladder. I'm using an X-Therm sleeping pad. And you're gonna probably be going, why the heck are you using an X-Therm? Here's the thing. I have realized over time that the X-Therm is just such a tremendous all around pad. People are always like, well, that's too warm for certain seasons, right? Well, think about the mattress you sleep on at home. That thing's R value is off the charts and you don't complain about sleeping on your mattress, right? So for me, I would way rather overdo the R value and because this has a 70 D bottom on it, um, the durability puncture resistance is way higher. So I've just found myself going to this and it, it's like maybe three ounces heavier than the Neo Air. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close. So I've just found myself using this piece kind of year round. And I think it's part of the reason that I've been so toasty warm this entire trip, uh, but it brings me a lot of peace of mind. Right here, I've got a Fortius one person tent and 10 stakes. Um, I've only been using six, but that's that. And it is soaked. It was completely covered in frost this morning. All right, my very last thing in the pack is my 15 degree Stormloft top quilt. This is the newest generation of top quilt. So it has the gold treatment, updated baffles, and the cord uh, catch near your neck to keep that cord out of your face. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I've been overheating most of the nights up here, which really surprised me because I have never been so cold in these mountains before the last time I was here. So definitely um, enjoying this piece right here, especially with how much moisture there is. I love the fact that it's drying out uh, throughout the night and yeah, just, just allows me to also put clothing items in there that are maybe damp when I go to bed and have them dry by morning. So there you have it. There's everything that I've brought on my 100 mile solo hike. I am 35 miles in, got a lot of miles to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this back up and hit the trail, but hopefully this provided value for you guys to know what you need to take, what you don't need to take. Honestly, this is, this kit right here stays very, very similar for me most of the year. So if you're ever wondering, do I need this? Do I need this? Um, you know, refer to this video, it may be of help to you um, and just help you dial in your pack and make sure you're not carrying more weight than you need. I am carrying more weight than, than I need to because I am filming this. I've brought about seven, excuse me, five and a half pounds, almost six pounds of camera gear. I've got the Sony A7S III with a road mic attachments. I've got a tripod, Asiac tripod with a Tricer um, head on it. Uh, and I don't know. Oh, I am carrying a, also a Dyneema bag for that. Um, camera so I'm heavier than I want to be I'll say that much uh, but I promise you that what I've shown you here will definitely get you dialed in and help you click off some miles or just be more comfortable wherever you are going the CS40 has been rock solid that carbon frame I just cannot say enough good things about it so thanks for tuning in guys we'll catch you guys on a future video